Hey guys, so I am about to hike Mount Major in New Hampshire, and some of you may remember the video I put out a while back over the summer about um, changing beliefs, and I told a story about hiking with an emotionally abusive boyfriend. And so I've decided to go back to the same trail, the same exact hike where I injured my knee and uh, just kind of redo this, re retell this story uh, and I guess for me uh, sometimes I need to go to the actual place um, where things happened to uh, be able to really process and just begin to um, change my story for myself. So wish me luck. I'll see you at the top. Hey guys, um, so I've decided to stop for a little break here on the trail. Don't do a whole lot of cardio. I'm definitely in better shape than the last time I did this hike and I was very out of breath that first time. And that was one of the things was that my, um, my uh, boyfriend at the time was shaming me for wanting to stop and rest. So giving myself permission here in this beautiful place to stop and rest, have some water, enjoy the scenery, go at my own pace, and not feel pushed to uh, exert myself more than I feel comfortable. So I'll see you in a little bit as I continue on my way. So here I am at the top of Mount Major. Hopefully, um, hopefully you can hear me all right because it's a little windy up here. 
but um, yeah, I mean, I'm ready to go down, which is the part where I injured myself last time I was here. So that I think will be a little bit more intense than the way up. Um, but I feel good. I, you know, went at my own pace and just enjoyed myself. Took a lot of photos, things that I like to do. Um, so it's time to go down. Oh, and I wrote, um, I'm reading Brene Brown's, well, I'm rereading her new book, Braving the Wilderness. It's a really great book. I highly recommend it. And she talks a lot about um, a quote by Maya Angelou. And um, so I wrote in the sand up here, I will not be moved. So that's kind of my ritual or whatever you want to call it for this experience. Just to write that in the sand, have it wash away, have it be transformed um, into a new experience here. All right, so I'm gonna go down now. It's starting to get dark, but it is beautiful up here. If you, if you guys ever come to New Hampshire, go to Lake Winnipesaukee, it's really awesome. So something very interesting just happened on my way down. Uh, it got dark very quickly and I was suddenly in the dark hiking by myself, kind of freaked out. Um, but every time I started to worry about bears or whatever, I would just ground down, slow down a bit. I know that the way you injure yourself on the way down is by going too fast, and that's what happened the last time I was here. But the very interesting part was I was getting towards the end, towards where I think I injured myself originally, and suddenly this other couple merged onto the path with me, and like a, a guy and a girl that were, you know, I'm assuming they were dating, because I took a photo of them on the uh, summit. And they said, the guy said, oh, do you, we'll walk with you. And I said, oh, great, because I'm a little freaked out. And he's like, yeah, you shouldn't be alone, whatever. Um, and then, of course, he starts going, like, really fast. And, like, there's lots of loose rocks. You know, it's the end of this descent where, you know, everyone's feeling tired. And he's slipping a little bit. The girl says twice, my knee hurts. And I was like, I think this is the spot where I hurt myself. And I just said, I will not be moved. I am not going to speed up and potentially fall or twist my ankle or re-injure my knee just because this guy is charging ahead. And... Every time I felt that urge to try and catch up a little bit more with them, I would just slow down, just slow down. Not like super slow, but enough where I could feel myself really present in my body and really feel a power and a strength within me. Anyway, I'm going to drive home now because it's dark and I'm in New Hampshire, but I will talk to you guys again soon. Hey there. Um, I just wanted to give a little follow-up to uh, the whole experience on the mountain. Um, you know, at the time, obviously I was pretty shocked by how much I was being, felt like I was being tested with this couple hiking the trail with me and the girl saying my knee hurts and the guy's going too fast and 
is really being tested to practice what I've decided that I need for me, which is to um, not be moved. So what that means is just to stay on my ground a little bit more. Um, it's, you know, certain people, it might be the opposite, but for me, and I think for a lot of women in, in at least American culture, um, you sort of learn at a, at a young age to accommodate other people and all of that. And um, certainly there's virtue to tolerance and whatnot. Uh, but there, you, that has to be balanced out with strong boundaries. So um, that's something I'm always working on. And this whole experience definitely highlighted things more for me, made it a little bit more palpable, I think. And um, since then, I have felt stronger, um, more powerful in the good sense of the term. <laughs> Um, just having my morning coffee here. And I just keep bring, uh, coming back to those words, I will not be moved. Um, so even like, <laughs> I'll sort of practice this concept in little ways that are preparing me for bigger things that will surely pop up in my life when I'll need to have that strength. And one of them is, I live in the Boston area, and it's like crazy driving on the highway here or anywhere. Um, so people like to, you know, get behind your car <laughs> as close as possible and sometimes flash their lights at you if you're not going fast enough, even though you're already speeding. Um, and... So I practice the concept of I will not be moved with that, with, um, you know, I'm not going to speed up for them. I'm also not going to slow down as a way to punish them um, because I'm pissed off, because that is also being moved. And that's something very interesting that I've realized. Uh, uh, you know, it doesn't mean like we are emotionless, we never react to people um, but to pause and notice that you're reacting and choose not to, and just be like, no, I'm gonna continue on my way. I'm not doing anything wrong. Um, I don't need to get wrapped up in their story of what I should be doing. Because, you know, many times it is a matter of opinion, so. All right, well, that's kind of where I'm at with that. I have a lot more going on in my mind that I want to tell you guys about, but this video is already very long. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, but I'd like to know, you know, who here has ever been um, in a situation like mine, been in a relationship where your self-worth was diminished um, by constant criticism, emotional abuse, um, maybe you were uh, married to a narcissist or dating one um, or grew up with one. And what sort of things have you done to cultivate your own um, sense of, of strength and of self-love so that you can be able to stand your ground, be yourself, not be moved constantly by other people, not be forced to bend over backwards, not be um, trampled over all the time. What it, I'd like to hear in the comments, um, if you are willing to share, um, you know, what your experiences are and what you've done to help with overcoming those um, obstacles in life that many of us have. Um, so, as always, I hope that this um, vlog here helped inspire you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.